Viva podcast thank you for joining in our morning daily devotion Luke chapter 1 verses 30 to 33 reads Jesus Christ came into this world not for a few but to be the savior of all he was born that we might be set free the people needed a savior god sent a baby this is the delight of christmas god did something beyond human comprehension and in doing so he made a way for all to have a relationship with him In Luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 39 we read When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord every first born male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord a pair of doves or two young pigeons Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God saying Sovereign Lord as you have promised you may now dismiss your servant in peace for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the sight of all nations a light for revelation to the gentiles and the glory of your people Israel The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet Anna the daughter of Penuel of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband 7 years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshiped day and night fasting and praying coming up to them at that very moment she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem when Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth The time came for Jesus to be presented at the temple in Jerusalem for the purification. The parents brought in the child Jesus that they might do concerning him according to the requirement of the law. Two elderly people get their prayers answered on that day. Simeon was a righteous man. His expectation was focused on the comfort and consolation Christ would bring to Israel. He was waiting for the Messiah to come. Like some of the songs we sing today awaiting Christ's second coming, the Jews were longing for the Messiah to come and bring his comfort to them. Verse 28 of Luke chapter 2 says that Simeon reached down and took Jesus out of Mary's arms and began to praise God. He acknowledged that God had not only fulfilled the promise to him but also the prophecies concerning the anointed one for both Jews and Gentiles the second person in gospel of luke who was waiting with anticipation was anna her husband had died and she dedicated herself to fasting and praying in the temple the bible says that she never left the temple but worshiped day and night simeon was waiting for comfort and consolation and Anna the prophetess was waiting for redemption of Israel what are you waiting for this christmas what are you expecting to receive christmas is not just a story that took place many years ago and we observe the traditions and festivities year after year the birth of our lord jesus christ in this world is one of prayers answered miracles witnessed promises fulfilled and hope 
restored. Today, will you open your heart to Christ and let Christ be part of your story? For more details, please contact 9163-6425-2164 or email us to info at fibaonline.org.